Hey Fox fam, before we get into the video, I did just wanna let you know that I filmed this in the beginning of June. And so the life update portion of this is half on point and like half not, I feel like. So I just wanna let you know that it is slightly outdated in the, um, the life update portion, but it's kind of interesting to just see kind of the process. So the next video that goes up after this one will be the most updated life uh, story, but watch this so you can kind of follow along with what's going on and you'll be ready for the next one that comes out. But I just wanted to put that in here to let you guys know and uh, let's go ahead and try the Juvia's Place Foundation and some of these other products because I know you guys have been asking for it. So let's get into it. My earrings match my backdrop. Are you guys freaked out? I'm triggered. I'm so triggered. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my videos that I've uploaded recently. You'll see the aftermath of one of these bad boys all over my studio. It's actually still on the carpet over here. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell though. <laughs> I'm gonna move out of this place as we'll get into and I'm just gonna have a carpet cleaner come deal with it because I had no energy after I cleaned up what was on my desk and in all my drawers to like deal with that. Oh, you guys are zoomed way in. Hello. Do you guys know what personal space is? Jeez Louise. This video, I'm so excited to film this video. A life update after my separation video going up. If you did not know that I am divorced from Ryan, surprise, there is a video. I will link it in the description box below if you missed that. Sorry I had to break it to you like that, but we just had to rip the band-aid off. I'm excited because there's so many new exciting things happening in my life and some new exciting products we're gonna try in this video too. So I'm just like hyped up all the way around. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Today I'm working with Juvia's Place on the review of their foundation, concealer, and setting powder. I'm super stoked. I've heard some really great things about this. So we're gonna put it to the test, see how well it really works. I'm gonna be just chatting with you guys loosely about what's going on in my life, what the next steps are, what we're doing. Am I gonna be on The Bachelorette? <laughs> just like a bunch of random stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Super excited to be partnering with Juvia's Place. I received the foundation in this super cute makeup bag. This doesn't come with the foundation, but you can actually get this makeup bag for $16 if you like. It's nice and deep. So let's go ahead and take a look at the I Am Magic foundation. I love the name. So here's what it looks like. It comes in this little box right Right here and it is $20. This is 30 milliliters of product in here, which is basically the same, uh, if not more than some of my foundations that I have on my desk over here. I really wanted to talk about the shade range with this foundation. I think it's really cool. Juvia's Place has really put a lot of thought into it. Listen up, this is pretty cool. The foundation has been broken into three kingdoms is what they call it. The Nubian kingdom, the medium kingdom, and the fair kingdom. And all of those kingdoms are subdivided into families. And we've got deepest dark, deep dark, dark, dark tan or rich tan, tan, medium, light skin, and very light skin. And then within those, there are undertones. So we've got a cool undertone, neutral undertone, warm undertone, gold undertone, and olive undertone. And this foundation is buildable to a full coverage. So I always like that when I need to like add extra coverage on certain parts of my skin. And it's a soft matte finish. I just love that they've put so much thought into undertones and stuff. Just because you have dark skin or light skin doesn't mean that you are a warm undertone or a cool, you could be either a cool undertone or a warm undertone. And I feel like a lot of brands don't take undertones into consideration when they're making shades. Like sometimes you'll see, I don't remember what brand it was recently, but there was like a foundation range and like all the darker shades were like really warm toned. A lot of people that's not gonna work for. My undertone is kind of neutral. I'm a little bit yellow, but I'm also a little bit pink. So typically I have to cocktail my foundation together, but we'll see with this. I might just one and done and and who knows, I got my little fake tan on today, so we'll see. So this is what the foundation looks like. I like this little squeeze tube. It makes it really easy to get everything out of it. It's also very lightweight. So then we have the I Am Magic Concealer, and this guy is $14, and it's formulated with high pigment load, allowing for full coverage at first swipe. It's This is interesting. It's got amino acid treated pigments to help increase coverage without a heavy after feel. Also soft focus, sphere 
miracle powders used to blur the skin and hide imperfections and discolorations, equipped with moisturizers to help nourish and condition the skin. Concealers are very personal for every single individual person. Certain people get very dry around the eyes or they have, you know, dark circles to cover. So let's just go ahead and see how this works without any color correction or anything like that. We're just gonna go straight in with this. And the concealer comes in 24 shades broken down into six categories. Again, deepest dark, deep dark, dark, tan, medium, and fair. So that is super awesome. Here's the concealer. This is such a big tube <laughs> and it's got a really big doe foot applicator. I really love large applicators. This is great. Next we have the I am magic setting powder and it comes in this pretty lightweight for traveling as well, which is great. This comes in five different shades. You can use this to set your foundation. You can use it to brighten. This is $12. It's got the, you know, typical kind of powder thing here. So you're not dipping into a full thing of powder, which is awesome. So I'm going to use this to set under the eyes and the whole face and we'll see if we have any creasing or, you know, what happens. I'm not great at matching my foundation shades, so bear with me. We're gonna try Capri 630 for foundation, and then I'm just gonna go with the concealer that I first opened up, which is 20. I have washed my face this morning. I put on a little bit of water-based moisturizer, and we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna do my foundation first today. I'm just gonna do kind of a lighter makeup look, nothing too crazy with a lot of pigment or anything, so. Also, this is a brush that is synthetic that you can get on their website too. It's super cute. This brush is $13. Let's just go ahead and start applying and see see what happens. Should I put a, I'm going to put, I'm going to put, I'm going to put, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put, um, primer down. Why can't I think of this? I'm going to use the NYX bear with me primer. I really like this one. I've been using this a lot and it works with a lot of my other foundations. So I feel like this will give, you know, a really fair canvas and trial run here. I also think I'm going to do a wear test with you guys today. I think that's always helpful. I'm going to let this dry for like two seconds. Oh gosh, I got to pee. Okay. Let's do this. I think that's gonna work. Okay, wow, a little goes a long way, that's great. The coverage looks pretty dang good at the moment and a little is going a long way, look at that. When I had filmed my separation video, I had already, I had put an offer in on a home that morning. I just didn't wanna say anything too soon because you know, you always have to sort out financing and all that after. It has been accepted. <laughs> So it has been accepted and we're in the pro we're in escrow right now. So very exciting. I'm about to be a new homeowner. I've never purchased a home in my life. So it's definitely something new. It feels empowering. It feels really good. I'm excited for the next chapter. Wow, this is so full coverage and it looks really good. I think it looks great. It's easy to spread kind of around, which is really good. You know, I want to set, my set myself up for the future. I want to invest. I want to do all of those things. So, and we love Nashville. We visit Nashville like twice a year we started to look into nashville for a living and it's gotten more expensive since we started looking but it's still definitely less than california wow looks great i was not expecting this full coverage right off the bat since it said it's buildable to full coverage i kind of assumed if you were going to get full coverage you'd have to do a couple layers this looks pretty freaking good as you guys heard on my instagram stories i actually per your suggestion did decide to go with like a not a moving company but like u-haul or whatever i'm gonna have my friend dan drive that He's, he was kind enough to offer. And we're gonna go in the, with the concealer now under the eyes and around the eye area. This is a couple shades lighter, as you can see. So hopefully this will brighten a little bit. I'm just gonna start with that much. So my friend Dan's gonna drive the moving truck and follow the motorhome. I'm also renting a motorhome. I have to bring all of my animals. I'm gonna have to build out temporary enclosures to transport them to Nashville. A lot of people are asking, are you gonna keep all your animals? I'm trying to adopt out the ones that I was gonna adopt out originally. Originally, I'm trying to make it as pleasant as possible. I mean, it's not gonna be ideal for my animals to be in like enclosures like that, but it is what it is. This concealer did a pretty good job and actually blended in and melted in with my foundation really nicely. This is looking really good. In my experience with foundations, I would consider this a full coverage, which is great, I like it. Because it spreads around so easily and because it's super highly pigmented, you really don't need a whole lot. Like you could do probably a few dabs and work that around your face. It seems to kind of melt into your skin in a good way. So we're gonna go ahead and set this with the setting powder. Wow, that works pretty well. You can definitely see the difference here and how much it's mattified the skin. Now I like to add a little bit more powder where I like in my T-zone where I typically get a little oilier, especially if you're gonna be at an event for that long, you're gonna wanna 
you're gonna wanna put a lot of powder there. This looks really nice. This looks awesome. I mean, this looks, this is looking really good. It's looking real good. So, oh shoot, I just dropped the concealer in my pile of foundation. <laughs> Wonderful. Moving on to eyes, let's go ahead and pull out the Kristen Dominique, uh, Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. It's this beautiful packaging right here. So the other day I did use this and I tried to do this on the lid and then blend it out with this. And I did have a little bit of problem with this blue, trying to use it as a blending out shade. It might be because there's some glitter in it. I'm gonna go ahead and use more of these. I'm gonna go in with fringe right here. The eye area is still looking really good. There's not really any creasing, so that is good. That goes on darker than it looks in the palette. I like that shade a lot. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna rent like a U-Haul and I'm gonna load that bad boy up. But honestly, I've decided to sell a lot of stuff and kind of start over. And I was like taking hints from you guys, like on Twitter and stuff. You're like, sell everything. I think my mom, my stepmom, and my aunt are gonna go. And then of course, Dan, my friend is gonna drive the U-Haul. Thank you, Dan, you're amazing. You're probably not watching this this video because you don't wear makeup, but you know, I appreciate you. That shade has blended out really well. I'm gonna take Bohemian right here, just with my finger, right on the lid. Again, I'm gonna have to get back to you on the blues in it though, because that one blue is not my friend. Blues are really hard to make though, granted, I know that. I'm gonna take Suede right here just to deepen up a little bit of the crease. That one is really powdery, so I'm assuming it is pretty pigmented. Oh wow. Wow. Well, isn't that a pleasant surprise? There's virtually like no fallout from this eyeshadow, which is great. Going back to the under eye area, there is a little bit of creasing under here. I'm not shocked. My eyes usually crease right there, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. How it continues throughout the day though is kind of the important thing. And I might even add, well, after I break everything on my desk, a tiny bit more powder on there. The concealer is also super hydrating, it says, so that could be a reason why it's creasing up on me a little bit more too. With that being said, if you have like a really oily under eye area, you may have trouble with it. I'm gonna be using this brand new Milani palette, which has a fake eyelash on it. I'm a dirty bitch. These are literally all over my house. I see them on stuff, I'm like, ah, spider. No, it's not, it's just an eyelash, because you're messy. Oh, the plastic was still on it. This guy right here. And this is really cool. It has a lot of different shades in it. So yeah, when I get out to Nashville, um, I saw some of you guys live there. So I think it'd be fun if we did some sort of a meetup. Maybe we could go bowling together. I don't know, something fun. But once I get there, I plan on, um, I'd like to buy a couple Airbnb properties. I thought it'd be really fun, kind of make that my investment project. And I think it'd be really cool to like decorate them all like slightly different. Differently. I obviously can put them on my website and let you guys know when they can be booked out and stuff But I just think it would be really fun. My friend JC Marie and her um, husband do that. I'm gonna take the same shade and I'm just gonna place that right on top. Oh, it's so pretty. So the plan to Nashville too with housing like first I was gonna move like straight out to the country or something and get like some more property and stuff. And I thought to myself, I'm like, if I am all the way, I'm kind of a homebody anyway, but if I'm all the way out in the country, like how am I gonna make any friends or do anything? So initially I bought a house that's closer to town and downtown and stuff. And then I'll live in that for a little while. And then eventually I'll rent it out and buy a property that has a little bit more property. That's kind of the plan. The foundation's holding up super well so far. Really stoked on this. Let's finish up the brow. Oh my gosh, is this the last of it? <gasps> no, no, what do I do, what do I do? Oh, lordy, 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 mm. that sucks. Watch me do one eyebrow and then not have enough for the other one, that would suck so bad. I'm gonna try and spread this out between the two. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in Warm Brunette. I like to use multiple brow products. I feel like it makes the bushier brow look a little bit more realistic and this also blends in some of the pencil lines. This is a brand new mascara from NYX. This is On The Rise Volume Lift Scara. So I also thought about getting a motorcycle when I get to Nashville and Ryan kind of talked me into this other crazy thing. It's like a three wheeled like motorcycle kind of and it's I think it's by Can-Am and it looks freaking sweet 
Like, if you see me mobbing around on one of those in Nashville, you should say hey. This mascara seems to be working pretty well. I mean, for a drugstore mascara, I mean, I would say that some of my other ones work a little bit better, but this is like still doing a pretty good job. Let's see how this looks down here. I really love the NYX Worth It mascara, so this seems to work similarly. Lashes I'm using today are by LA Splash. I really like their lashes, I think they're great. These are 3D foam ink lashes and this one is in The Mummy. Their packaging is also pretty freaking cute all the time. I'm gonna pop these bad boys on. For some bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Longwear Matte Bronzer. Looks like this. I've been loving this stuff lately. I kind of like loved it before and then I got back on the kick. So gosh, buying a house, if you own a house, you know how crazy the process is. Like I swear they want like your firstborn child, like it's fucking Rumpelstiltskin shit, man. If you were one of the people that left a comment, sent me a DM or tweeted me, got a hold of me in some way about that video and left encouraging sweet words, I just wanna thank you for that because I was really afraid to put that video up and you guys made it so easy for me and you just lifted me up and you still are. And I'm just really grateful for that because it's a really hard thing to go through and I'm still kind of going through it. It's just scary to put that up when you're already feeling so vulnerable. So I wanted to say thank you. You guys are always so supportive, so sweet. Like I'm so grateful to have like such an awesome group of friends online. So fucking down to earth and just so chill and like so sweet. So it's funny, um, Ryan actually bought a house that's 10 minutes away from mine, <laughs> which is actually really fun. I asked him for the address the other day. I'm like, can you please send me the address? Like, I wanna see how close you are to my house. So in case I need anything, I can have you come over and help me. And he's like, oh, I already Googled it. You're only like 10 minutes away. I was like, perfect. So who knows? I also need to find a new Dungeons and Dragons group. So if you live in Nashville, and you are part of one, please let me know. Let's do for blush. This is a brand new shade um, from Too Faced and like possibly the cutest packaging ever. Um, it's got like, I'm just gonna kind of mix those. It's like a blush slash bronzer. It was pretty. I like this blush shade. This is nice, especially with like the little bit of shine that it adds to. It's cute. It's cute. Okay, oh my gosh, last step. Stepmom and my mom keep telling me I should get on The Bachelorette, or The Bachelor. I don't know, what do you guys think? Last time I did a reality TV show, it was absolutely hell. I was on a wedding dress show, ironically enough. It was hell. This lip liner is ColourPop. Um, I love Sara E um, lippy pencil in curvy. So this is the Buxom uh, Boy Babe full on plumping lip polish in the shade Coal. So this is like a, just a really nice, like glowy kind of bronzy shade that I think goes with the look really well. So let's just pop this on. Oh my gosh, it's already starting to tingle. This is the final look and I have to say this foundation looks really good. I would like to check in in a few hours or a couple hours and see how it's holding up. I kind of have like combo skin. Sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's a little bit oily, kind of depending on where I'm at and what products I've been using on my face. So right now it's pretty much in the neutral state. It's not, it's, it hasn't been too dry or too oily. It's been kind of right in the middle. Oh my gosh, I did get on a dating app the other day and I think I need to delete it immediately. It's just like, I feel like that is a whole series of YouTube videos like on its own because girl, I was thinking about vlogging my trip out to Nashville. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. I also was thinking about doing an empty home tour. Let me know. Um, I'm totally open to hearing your guys' ideas and like doing some of those. I think it'd be fun. I will see you in a few hours. Three hours later. Hey guys, so it has been three hours now. The foundation is holding up really well. I just filmed another video, so I've been talking a lot, and I do have a little slight smile line wrinkle happening here, but it's not too bad. Very center, I'm just the slightest bit dewy, and right here too, here is where I hate the most, but it's not that bad. Like, I'm 
still impressed with how this looks right now. I think it looks pretty dang good. Chances are you're gonna have to touch it up. There's just really no way around it. So we will see you guys in a second. It's gonna be like a second for you, but three hours for me. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay guys, it is almost 8 p.m. at night. I can definitely see that there is a lot more oil on my face now than there was earlier. I'm not surprised. So kind of in the areas that I was talking about powdering extra, um, it is definitely super luminous. This is to be expected for me because typically I would be powdering my face throughout the day. I would never really go six hours without touching up my makeup. So I'm gonna take a little rice paper here and I'm going to take off oil and then I wanna powder just to see what we're left with and just powder down a little bit because I wanna make sure that it hasn't like broken down. It hasn't, like it looks really good still. So yes, there is a little more oil than I'd like, but that's just my face and that's just what it does. Like I would say like after powdering this, it honestly looks like it did right when I finished applying it, which is pretty good. Overall, I have really good things to say about this foundation, the concealer, and the setting powder. I will mention again, the concealer is does crease a little bit underneath the eyes, but I don't think it's anything like crazy. Like it seems pretty normal to me, unless you like a more dry concealer. I'm pretty damn impressed. This might be one of my new faves. What do you guys think? How do you guys think this performed six hours? I don't think that you would need to stay away from this foundation if you have oily or skin. Skin. Definitely gonna need to touch up throughout the day, bring some little rice papers with you. I didn't use a setting spray today or anything. We just used a setting powder. So overall, I'm super, super impressed with this. I really like this foundation. I, I highly suggest it. I think you guys should give it a try if you like the way that it applied. This was a breath of fresh air to have something like move around my skin so seamlessly. Let me know in the comments, uh, how do you think this applied? Are you gonna be trying it out for yourself? Let me know and um, I'm excited to chat with you guys in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.